And brother, here we are in Rosemount Horizon in Chicago, Illinois. The match no one thought would ever happen is happening right this very moment. Coming to the ring from Manzanillo, Mexico. Weighing in at 1.5 milligrams, Mr. Fly. Mr. Fly has made it ringside. I wonder if we might get a few words with you. Mr. Fly, what kind of match are you looking for out of Mr. Steve Austin? All I know is that when Steve Austin steps through those ropes, he stepped through those ropes for the last time. I am sick and tired of the human race picking on me and my kind. Steve Austin represents the worst of the human race in the worst way possible. All of the qualities that he embodies suck ass. He is a zero. He is a nobody. He has accomplished nothing. And he will never accomplish anything, even after this match, because I will destroy him. It is not only my goal to defeat him, but to crush him as a human being, as a man, and wash away any memory that any other human beings have of this stupid piece of trash. I will destroy Austin. Strong words from Mr. Fly. Strong words indeed. And here comes our other combatant to the ring, Steve Austin. I wonder, Mr. Austin, before you step through those ropes, if we might have a word about your strategies to take to Mr. Fly. Well, let me tell you something. This little bitty motherfucker has pissed me off for the last time. I sat there tried to mind my own fucking business fucked around. They started bothering me in the lobby. Then I went to my room and a fly landed on my microphone. I tried to interview the little motherfucker and this son of a bitch starts talking shit to me. I ain't never caused a bunch of harm to these son of a bitches. Have I killed my share of them? you damn right I have. But I ain't really got a big ass to grind about a fly. So the fact that this little motherfucker still pissed off at me from back in the caveman days when motherfuckers are sorting them with fucking clubs is a whole goddamn other ball game. But you ain't gonna walk into my place. I offer you a goddamn shot of tequila and you're gonna shit all over me. So this motherfucker going to get what he got coming to him, and that's all I got to say about that. And with both men in the ring, well, one man in a flying ring, the referee starts the match. And the fly and Austin pace in the ring. Austin seemingly the stronger of the two, certainly. The fly much quicker, much more agile. How will this story unfold? And they lock up. Austin with a headlock. Fly pushes it to the ropes. Elbows, couple of elbows to the drum of Austin. Sends Austin in. Wham! Big tackle by Austin on the fly. The fly drops down. Austin hits the rope, crosses the ring. Arm drag, arm drag. Hip tosses Austin. Oh! Follows it up with a drop kick. Austin out of the ring and on his ass. Oh my God! Look what the fly has done to Austin. Austin confused, bamboozled, flabbergasted on the apron of the ring. He doesn't know what hit him. Austin clearly underestimated this fly. Ties up the fly, marches the fly right back into the corner. Austin opening up again, a whoop ass on this fly's knuckles, feet flying everywhere. The fly down in the corner. Austin stomping the mud hole in this fly and walking it dry. Austin pulls the fly up in the turnbuckle. Iris whips him across the ring to the other turnbuckle, charges the fly, kills line on the fly. The fly in pain, definitely in pain. Austin working the wing. The fly comes up to his feet, pushes Austin to the ropes. Austin breaks the hole according to the referee's directions. Back to the center of the ring. Austin the fly lock up. Austin with an arm drag on the fly goes back to the wing hole. Austin's game plan clearly is to work this fly's wing. Austin picks the fly up and slams him to the ground. Austin going to the turnbuckle. The second turnbuckle drops a big elbow on the fly's wing. This fly may not make it past the five-minute mark. Austin certainly in control and open up a can of whoop ass on this fly. Austin backs the fly into the turnbuckle. The fly sticks his head from underneath the ropes. Referee stops the 
Attack of all sticks separating the two. The fly comes out, spins the referee around. Oh, reverse mule kick to the Jimmies of Austin. The fly has cheated a low one. That one certainly down around Saskatoon, and Austin is down. Here comes the fly. Shakes off the wing. The wing has definitely been damaged by Austin. Fly starts to work the neck of Austin. Maybe this is a strategy to go to the weak link of Austin. He's working the the neck, he's got him in a, a modified cravat. Austin trying to come out. Austin with a couple of elbows hits the rope. Oh, big elbow by the fly. And Austin goes down with a thud. The fly jumps up to the top turnbuckle. Jumps off on the back of the neck of Steve Austin. Austin writhing in pain. This fly. Snap Marist Austin. He grabs him in a rear chin lock. The dreaded rear chin lock that so many use as a rest hold, but the rest hold is not in play here. This is a working hold employed by the fly, and he's got a surmountable amount of pressure on the neck of Austin. Austin trying everything that he can do to come out of this, comes to his feet. Clearly, the crowd behind this young Steve Austin, this fiery young meat baby face from Victoria, Texas, and he gives a couple of elbows to the ribs of the fly. A couple of more elbows to the ribs of the fly. Takes off, hits ropes, ducks a clothesline of the fly, ducks an elbow. Oh! The fly has Austin and the iron claw. Austin and the claw fly in control. Hear what we have here, folks. Austin is in trouble. This fly has Austin and the dreaded claw made famous by Baron Von Rasky and the Von Eric family from Texas. What's going on here, folks? What's going on? Austin bleeding from the temples. Somehow, some way, Austin has been busted open by this fly. Is it the pressure? What happened to Austin's head? The fly in control. Austin losing blood, losing consciousness. It looks like it could be all over for Austin. This crowd is going crazy. Referee moves in to check the arms of Austin. Picks up the arm. Austin drops the arm. He's on his feet, but he's dead on his feet. He's unresponsive. Referee picks up the arm. The arm falls again. He's going to pick up the arm for the third time. If the arm drops this time, it's all over. The fly will win the match. Referee raises the arm. The arm falls. Oh, halfway down. Austin raises his arm up. He's down, but he's not out. Somehow, some way, this young man is drawing energy from the crowd. He starts shaking. He's on fire. It's Katie bar the door. This Donnie Brook is about to turn into a pair six brawl. Austin elbows, 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 hits the goddamn ropes. Fly goes for a backdrop. Austin with a swinging net breaker. The fly is in trouble. Oh, Austin mounting the comeback. Puts the fly in the turnbuckle. Kicks and punches, punches and kicks. This fly doesn't know where the shit of wine is watched. Oh, this is a rare move for Austin, putting the fly in the top turnbuckle. Superplex by Austin. Both combatants in the ring, dazed and confused. Austin in control. Austin goes for the cover. And one, two. Oh, what's happening? What has just happened, ladies and gentlemen? Someone has hit the ring. It's super fly Jimmy Snooker. Snooker with a coconut. Referee distracted. Somehow he got a thumb in the eye. Snuka, Superfly just blasted Austin in the head with the coconut. The Superfly, why is he helping out the fly? No one knew that they were related. Referee comes back around. Superfly to the dressing room disappears. Austin on his back in the middle of the ring. The fly covers. The referee counts. One, two, three. And the fly wins. Somehow this dirty, low-down, stinking motherfucker has pulled off the win. Snooker from the dressing room. No one knew he was in the building. Comes out to help the fly. 
Austin lays there bleeding, laying in a pool of blood while the fly grabs a bottle of tequila from the crowd and starts drinking. No, he's not just drinking. He's going to add insult to injury and pour the tequila all over Steve Austin. Wow. Talk about salt in the wounds and rubbing uh, Austin's face in this. Clearly an embarrassing loss for Austin. And the fly flies off to the dressing room. Eh, eh, brother, what a match. Austin has lost the match to the fly. We're going to see what Austin has to say when he regains consciousness. Steve Austin has regained his consciousness. I don't know if he's regained his composure. I will attempt to talk to this young man. Steve, what happened out there tonight? Well, let me tell you what happened. I mean, the fly came out there, and I had him right where I wanted him, and the son of a bitch was a lot tougher than I gave him credit for. I'll give him that. But then, right when I got him right where I wanted him, here comes the Superfly right out of the goddamn dressing room. And Superfly, I don't know what the fuck you're doing here or why you tied in with this goddamn fly. Is it because it's a fly and you're the Superfly? Or maybe you guys related some kind of... Uh, she ain't no damn blood related. I mean, goddamn, I don't know what the fucking deal is. Why you would allow him to fly, I got no idea. But let me tell you something, brother. If you go fuck with Steve Austin, you got another thing coming. I'll deal with the Superfly uh, at another date. As far as the fly goes, I want another motherfucking match. If you got a hair on your ass, and do flies have asses? Yeah, they got that overpositor. If you got a hair on your ass, you'll accept a challenge for a rematch, motherfucker. I'm going to catch you down the road.